We didn't talk about this on the vlog. Val is doing her first equip meet in four years. <laughs> she is doing single ply. You want to tell them what you're going to try and do? So, and you're feeling nervous, but excited. I've done it twice. I started 615 twice. I don't think we put that in. The there vlog. has been no talk of this in the vlog. So I've taken just five pounds more than the world record twice in training. And smashed it. Yeah. So I've done it. I've done it in the suit that I'm going to do it in, so I feel confident that I can do it. I just hope that I don't let nerves get to me. Which I've never seen happen to her. <laughs> so we're excited. This is going to be like a surprise vlog situation. But um, yeah, I've watched her figure out the gear. She's been really quiet about it, but we're excited. I think the most that we will call for a third attempt is 639. Yeah, if all goes well. That's the most we'll call for. We'd like to push it, because the kilo, the current world record is 610. The kilo is 611.75. So 11. So she'll go 11 on I a second. Like to switch it. I would like to push it. <clears throat> She's going to go 11, 611 on a second, and then see how she's feeling, and get after it. Any Anything else? Any words of wisdom? <laughs> words of wisdom? No. That's what I need. I don't have any words of wisdom for you. <laughs> I'm excited to watch her compete, and... Um, we didn't ever think there would be a time that you'd be swinging at a world record. This is, we never, we, we talked about it early in her career and then it got to a point where we, it basically was not going to happen. I mean, the world record was kind of a secondary goal. You know, like I wanted to get into single ply because it was like the last form of powerlifting that I wanted to do. The last frontier. Um, but, you know, when we start looking at records and whatever, you know, the current ones, um, if it's within striking distance, why wouldn't I try for it? So it was kind of a secondary goal, but, um, you know, once I decided that I wanted to go for it, that's been the focus this entire training cycle. So, yeah, if it's within striking distance, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. She hates being on camera. Get, Hate it. Get over it. <laughs> it's time to go lift some weights with our friends. And it's going to be awesome. And I'm excited for Val's return to ply. So let's fucking go. All right. What's up, everybody? We're back uh, with a vlog here. Um, this is the, uh, meet that, uh, Emma, Sean, Connor, and Val did. Um, here's Emma's opener, 462, um, super patient in the bottom. She did a really good job here, smoke. Uh, so we went to 501. This would be her first 500 pound, uh, squat. Um, she had done it in the gym. She missed it at the Pro-Am on depth last year. Um, she ends up sticking with this one and getting it, which is awesome. A little bit of a stutter partway through, but really, really good job there. We were stoked for her. Uh, went to 529. Kind of a swing, a little bit of a swing, but we went for it anyway, and she did a great job. Um, but unfortunately, it was she missed it just a little too much for her. She's made some really great progress 
over the past couple of months here. So, um, pretty cool to, you know, be able to give her a night crew shirt and, and all that. Um, so here's her opening bench. Not sure what this is. I know it was just on the screen here. Took about 10 minutes to touch. Um, and then she blasted it. So that was great. Got her in the meat there. Went to 236 for a PR. Um, I think actually she opened with a, with a small PR. Um, she did a great job here on a second. Press, great fucking patience. Stays, stays in position the whole time. It's really awesome. Uh, and then went to 248. This I felt like was kind of a swing, to be honest with you. Uh, wasn't really sure how this was going to go. Um, but she was able to stay with it and finish it. So that was great. We were all very, very excited uh, for her with that. She opened 314. Uh, I believe that PR'd her total. And then we just made like a small jump or a decent sized jump to 347. She always gets stuck at the very, very top. Um, but she's really good at like hanging on to it. So then we made a very small jump to put her over 1100 on her total. Um, to give her a nice little, nice little, uh, 70 pound PR, I believe. Great job staying with that. Um, so we were stoked with her on that. Uh, and it, yeah, so she had a great meet. Connor coming off of rolling a mo motorcycle however many uh, weeks ago. He just wanted to do something. Um, he was going to do this meet multiply, obviously, but then he got hurt. So he decided to go raw just to get in the meet. And we didn't have any numbers on the board um, for uh, 242 raw. So um, he was like, I might as well fill the board. So put some numbers up there. Went 424 on a second. Um, I know he was fucking hurting here. Like, it's just a lot on his body. Still getting over the, the wreck. So he went 451 on a third. Uh, he ends up missing this one. My phone's going off. I apologize. Um, ends up missing this one. Just got over top of him a little bit. So uh, on to bench. Open 242. He was trying to beat, like, all his really old single-ply numbers, and I think he was successful in doing that. Um, so, really good job here. Very easy. Um, and it, I know part of the injury for him, or part of the, the issue, is that he uh, <clears throat> was having real shoulder issues. So, getting a couple benches in, we were stoked for him. Um Went to 286 on his last. Uh, ends up missing this one, but put up a great fight. And, you know, honestly, like, just super impressed that he, um, you know, decided to do this meet uh, as a whole. Like, it's really sick when he was that banged up from that. So, um, sucks that he missed that, but it is what it is. Went 512 on a, thir on a second here. Um... And he didn't end up taking a third. This was the number that he needed um, just to uh, to get the total that he wanted. Obviously, these numbers aren't crazy, but I think that it's super impressive that he came and did this meet um, after everything he's been through in the past uh, couple months. So um, really stoked on that one. On to Sean. Sean opened with uh, 810. Um, his best squat is 854, I believe. Um, so we went to 810 opener, absolutely obliterated it. And then went to 859 on a second. And he, this was the second time he picked it. Um, and it was kind of scary, honestly. Like, he was just way out of position. He fucked it up. His knees shifted forward. So he took it again. Uh, this would take the board um, to honestly take Josh off the board. It's really cool. Watch them go back and forth. Uh, so we went 859 here for a small PR for him. And uh, he absolutely just like crushes this fucking squat. 
which is really cool. Smash, easy. On to bench, open 429. I believe that was a small full meet PR for him. Um, great job, great finish. I honestly saw that one and didn't think he was going to get another one in. But we went to 468 and it looked a little better um, on the way down. And in general, he just looked more stable. So we're like, okay, gets this one. He wanted 500 initially for this meet, but we just thought wasn't quite there. So we went to 485. Um, and I'm glad we did because he, he got it. Uh, but I don't think he had many pounds to spare. Um, really good job staying with that one. We were stoked on that. So when... Uh, 567 opener. He pulls this. We went to 611 for a small PR on his second. I believe uh, 611 was like a six pound PR or something like that for him. And uh, he pulls this. It was not easy for him, but we still wanted to see if we could get him the uh, 2,000 pound total. Um, so we called for 655 on the third and, uh, just a little shy on this one. So, uh, listen, he's really close. If he hadn't messed up the squat, right, then this would have been much smaller. He would have to pull a smaller number for the 2K. Um, lots of different things, but, uh, the fact that he's swinging at 655 is pretty fucking crazy given where he was a year ago. So it was close, but very, 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 uh, very good beat from him. So here's Val, her opening squat. This is her single ply debut. Her opening squat of 584 uh, didn't go great. She breaks at her, at her hips and then stops, kind of double pumps it. Um, they ended up red lighting her. She got two red lights on that one, one for depth, one for the up down. Went to 611, which is an all-time world record for the 220 single ply women's drug tested and non-drug tested. Uh, she ends up getting over the top on it, right? And we're like, oh fuck, she got a bomb, you know? So we took it on a third and she did a great job staying with this. She didn't get too wide. And she stuck with it when it slowed down. Fucking awesome. We went crazy. It was really, really cool. Give her a little gear check. See how she's doing. And then it was just time to party. We were fucking stoked. Um, it's really awesome watching the group like rally behind her. And, and it's just a very proud moment for me as... As her husband and, you know, coach, training partner, whatever. Uh, on a bench, that shirt that she is wearing there. Now, you see, you can see it's a little bit of an open back. In the APO, you're allowed to have open back uh, with single ply shirts. The shirt is absolutely fucking massive on her. Um, we found it in a box at the gym. And it is just fucking ancient, too. So, uh, single ply Fina on there she is. And... Bang, dude, her benches just looked crazy. So we went 303 on a third. She had talked about this, something that she wanted to do. Um, and she does a really good job with it. Obviously, she's a great bench presser. So uh, always a joy to get to watch her compete. She's so good on meet day, so technical. Really, really stoked for her there. So <laughs> the group was really excited. Open 341. Um, this was just to set her up for her next pull. So we went 341, uh, and she, you know, it's like an empty bar. Great job. We went 385 on a second. That one right there set her up to, uh, for her, that, that one, uh, clinched her fifth pro total, her first single ply pro total, but her fifth pro total as a whole, this one here put her over 1300 and then we went to an all-time raw conventional pr for her on her third 413 
and she ends up pulling it for like a 1328 total. Super, super, super excited um, for her. You know, obviously earlier in the video we talked about, you know, she didn't think she was going to be swinging at world records ever in her career. So to have her doing that is really fucking cool. And it's awesome to watch. And I, I couldn't, I can't express how fucking uh, proud of her we all are. Yeah. We did it. Well, she did it. I did it. I didn't do anything. So... <laughs> Val broke the uh, 220 single ply all time world record squat today. Squat at 611 at 218. Very sick. Um, and how did it, how do you feel? Good. Good. How do you uh, feel? I don't want to say disappointed because obviously it was a great day. Um, but with how squats went, so I missed my opener. I got two reds, one from the head judge for a up down, which was a good call, I think. And then one depth from the side. So that kind of threw a wrench in the plan. So we just went up to the record so that I had two shots at it. Um, do you think that it was called too deep? Well, I don't know. Yeah, because I did have a point where I was like going down. So I took a six eleven on the on my second attempt, and when I was going down, you said three, and I was like, oh shit, like I am in trouble. Yeah, I was like, I'm not, you know. I think I called I thought you. Thought it was at a one. I think I called you a little too deep. Anyway, so I missed it on my second, um, and then got it on my third. Thought I was going to bomb out. Thought I was... I mean, I felt good. The weird thing is, like, my picks felt okay. Um, which has kind of been the trouble. In, like, training. Um, but... Felt okay. And, like, my body felt good. The weight on my back felt good. So, I was kind of like... I don't know. This could be 50-50. I might get this. I might not. Um... I felt as confident as unconfident, if that makes sense, on my third attempt. So, got it, and then went six for six on the other lifts. Uh, bench 300, 303, and uh, pulled 413. So, yeah, total 1328. And do you feel like you, like, accomplished something? Yeah, I'm not sure it's, like, hit yet. Like, I haven't made the social media posts. Is that, like, when it hits? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like telling other people. Like, I've told a couple people about it. Um, but I don't know if I, I, I... I'm disappointed that I wasn't able to push it further. That's what I was going to get at before. But um, the plan was to kind of take it on my second and then push the record higher and I didn't get a chance to do that so I'm a little disappointed with that um but yeah like I feel proud of myself and accomplished and yeah you should that's sick it was a really good day she really pulled it together on that third squat it was awesome and everybody else in the group did really well also it was a fun meet so now we're both in off season so it will be rest and reps and uh, yeah, I'm wicked proud of her. And now it's two world records at uh, Anchor, two world records in Night Crew. Um, and yeah, that feels really cool. Two world records for us. Two world records for us.